All right, folks, the moment you've all been waiting for, all things Thor Trails, stop number three, the Lewis and Clark Monument Mountain Bike Trail. Here we go. So the trail lead here at Lewis and Clark is Todd Iberg, and here he is, and we're just gonna ask him a couple questions to kind of get a little bit of his history here. So Todd, how long have you been working on this trail? Uh, it's been about 10, 11 years. The, the trail a lot different now than it was when you first kind of started? Yes, totally. Uh, when first started, you know, pretty much everything in the area was XC oriented as my riding developed. So did the, the trail as far as doing more jumps and drops and stuff. How much time do you say, would you say that you put in on a weekly basis here on average? Uh, in the summertime, yeah, it's probably six, six, eight hours. Yeah, yeah. so like a, basically a full work day on top of your the rest of your life. Yep. Yeah. All right, who we got here? Steve Javorski, Chris Spargin, Todd Iberg. All right, let's roll. Oh, and my name's Corbin Redley. Dropping in. Super fun drop in. Here comes some playful stuff. Woo. Following Todd down his trail, his baby. Woo. See if we can keep up with him. He is ripping. Jump to brakes. Woo. fun this this line is called initial descent it is a unidirectional trail so you can rip and we're almost at the bottom here it's about 150 to 200 vertical feet one loop is about 4.5 miles Ooh. Woo. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. A little drop off. Where's the landing? I don't know. Oh, so fun. I know it's great. I, I want single speed drops, baby. Woo! Flowing. Lewis and Clark. So fun. So it's flowy drops like that that give Lewis and Clark its name. And, this place is epic. Five miles of everything you could ask for. So Chris Spargin, current president of Thor, had a lot of great things going on here in Omaha for mountain biking. It's been super fun over the past two years. The vibe is strong. Try to keep the momentum going. More trails, more progressive style mixed in with the Classic cross country. A little side hill portion here, pretty cool. Just the terrain here is super hilly. 
up in the less hills. Gotta lay it down in the corners here to keep that grip. That last little part we did was the first drop that was ever added here. Pretty cool. Come a long way since that. Yeah. Woo. Todd, are you where you want to be with this place or is it always something? something more do you have a big vision or is it just a lot of little things what are your thoughts um you know there's, there's always projects you want to you have in the back of your mind you want to get to um but no you're never you're never done and there's always something yeah if there's a way that someone can reach out and kind of give back or help out with this trail specifically, what do you think, what's a way to do that? Probably the best way for individual trails is the, uh, the Lewis and Clark trail page. On Facebook? Yeah. And that's Lewis and Clark mountain bike trail, right? Yep. Todd, what's, is there a trail name for this kind of climb out? Uh, this is Tuco. Tuco? Yeah. Tell us about Tuco. So, so three trails. Uh, you got Angel Eyes, or No Name, Angel Eyes, and Tuco. And uh, Western fans will recognize that from the good, the bad, the ugly. Oh, right on. No Name is the good, which is the downhill section. All right, the main trail kind of goes through the entry of F and A, Barrel of Monkeys. Hey now. Sweet. That's smooth, man. Fall summit right there. Get to reap a little downhill before the big climb out. down this blame Todd was that your call or somebody else suggest that you put that in there well you knew a, you knew people were gonna be cursing your name part, partially yeah <laughs> part, of, part of it was put up because you know I take care of the trail so blame me right yeah the yeah trail, but. it's the last climb out How's the single speed doing back there? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, feeling anaerobic right now or what? I'm grateful for all of Todd's water bars. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, there's the, there's the lap. Sweet. So one of the best parts about Lewis and Clark is swapping into downhill mode and having a session. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna throw some flats on, throw some shoes on without clips, and we're gonna go session some of those lines. Oh yeah, double knot those puppies. Duh. All right, so we did one lap, cross country style. Now we're just gonna go in and session some of that stuff. There's a lot of fun stuff in here. Barrel monkeys, aggro, PB&J, FNA. Yeehaw. Off we go. I'll follow you, Chris. Point of entry, barrel monkeys and F and A. All right, Steve, tell us about how long you've been riding here. All right, I've been riding Lewis and Clark probably for about the last five, six years. Uh, been out here enjoying the jumps and the drops. That's what I come out here for. It's a good time on these downhill runs that we got that we're going to show you here. So we're going to hop on barrel monkeys first, and we'll go from there. I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm running with these guys. We're doing trail tours. Come down in the bottom of the barrel. Here's the barrel right here. It shoots you right out. Yoo-hoo! You always gotta give a little holler. Sometimes there's people there at the end, so sweet! The old goalie line was one of the first good lines that we had here and it kind of died off. Lots of erosion and trees in the way and then we went out of town and was hitting stuff and we had nothing around here like that. So we built PB&J over here. It took off from there. We just kept building more and more stuff. Was that truly in kind of an inspiring run for you for Oxbow or did you have a moment like oh, that? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. All the big stuff hadn't arrived at Oxbow until I came out here and was like, oh my gosh, this drop is huge. Well, there was a thirst, right? There were people here sessioning it. Yeah. You got to drive that passion from the community. And this is the OG, the catalyst. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Big booter. Woo! To the bottom. I just tested out those ropes, boys. <laughs> they held up. Yeehoo! Oh boy. Sweet. <laughs> nice. This is aggro. This is one of our more advanced lines just because of how steep it goes up and down around the corners. Uh, this was built probably about two years ago. Spargin's at my heels. Ah, so fun. Yeah. Woo. Here it comes. Can the single speed do it? Yeah, buddy. So here we go, about to hit the gully here. It's kind of a sneak entrance. Still a work in progress. Still a work in progress, says Todd. Uh, careful, it comes in a little hot. A little bit of brakes here. Woo. Super fun. All right, guys, so that wraps up a great session here at Lewis and Clark. Um, just kind of a nice reminder of how much time that these trail leads put into this stuff and how grateful I am that they do that. Um, Lewis and Clark is great. I mean, you got your cross country and you got your session laps and even the experts will find stuff where they can work on some things. So 
uh, Thor Nation, thanks for coming along and we'll talk to you guys all soon.